rectangular field is 40 meters long and 30 meters wide draw diagonals on this field 50 meters long that much we know so 30 and 40 draw diagonals and then draw circles of radius 1.25 meters which centers only on the diagonals so some diagonal here 1.25 meters is nice and small we are drawing circles like this each circle must fall completely within the field only two circles any two circles can touch each other but should not overlap what is the maximum number of such circles that can be drawn in the field brilliant brilliant this is a classic exciting and so first of all this is 50 this is also 50 one if radius is 1.25 meters diameter is 2.5 meters so let's worry about one diagonal diagonal of length 50 2.5 meters how many such circles can be placed this is 2.5 so 50 by 2.5 is 20 on one diagonal 20 can be placed on another diagonal another 20 so 40 seems like a legitimate candidate however the very crucial point we are not just placing on the diagonal we have to place on the diagonal keeping in mind that they don't overlap if there are 20 on this diagonal and 20 on this diagonal the middle diagonals are going to eat into each other there is an issue there and not just that if you draw a diagonal right at the end with 1.25 meters gone like this it will spill out it will not sit inside a triangle we need to worry about that and so let's first worry about that it being inside and then think about it so i'm going to think about the circle right at the end here to draw a circle with radius 1.25 it has to be inside this rectangle that means this distance this will be radius from here radius this, this uh, the sides could be at best tangents so you cannot draw a circle with this as center passing through this then it will cut like this that doesn't work this has to be at best tangent or you have to draw a circle like this with this being 1.25 so this triangle is not the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 this is the 4 side so we should take this 3 side as the critical length there should be some there will be some wasted space here this also won't be tangent it's not a square this is 1.25 this is 1.25 into 4 by 3 this is 1.25 into 5 by 3 and so this is very crucial to remember that we cannot draw a circle that goes right up to this edge right up to that vertex we take one diagonal not even coming to the second diagonal we will lose out some length here right so i'm going to imagine that length from the center this distance is 1.25 so let's say this is o this is a this is p o p is 1.25 o a is 1.25 into 5 by 3 a p is 1.25 into 2 by 3 there is going to be a 1.25 into 2 by 3 length which is right at the end of the diagonal which cannot have a circle so that we are going to lose out in that 50 meter length of the diagonal so keep that in mind so 1.25 into 2 by 3 does not have a circle part so in one diagonal we cannot squeeze in 20 circles which is why it's such a beautiful delightful question so if we take one diagonal let's say we take diagonal ac out of the 50 meters we lose a 1.25 into 2 by 3 and another 1.25 into 2 by 3 and so a 2.5 into 2 by 3 is lost a 5 by 3 is gone and 1.25 into 2 thirds 1.25 into 2 thirds that is 2.5 into 2 thirds is lost 5 by 3 is lost 1.67 is lost brilliant so we cannot draw 
50 by 2.5 on this so out of the 50 meter length we subtract 1.67 we get 48.33 divide that by 2.5 only that many circles can be drawn on this first diagonal that takes us to 19 brilliant we cannot draw 20 diagonals on the first circle 20 is too tight that means it'll be right up to the edge we'll have to go we put 19 there we put 19 here we get 38 it should it looks like it could be 38 but again there's a tricky part here here the tricky part is look we might have a 30 by 40 sitting here we could have 19 circles here but then if you put 19 circles here there's going to be a circle here so squeezing another 19 here is going to be tricky now we already know that from this end a 0.83 is lost 2.1.25 into 2 by 3 2.5 by 3 is lost here and 1.25 could be lost so if you look at this rectangle a b c d call this meeting point as o we know o b equals 25 we know that putting 19 is tricky and so because we're going to lose a circle right in the middle because there's an odd number of circles 19 there's a chance that one circle is right in the middle maybe we'll shift it out not make it right in the middle that is possible but even then it's going to be a hindrance and i'm going to take that scenario and see where we end up with assuming there's a circle right in the middle of radius 1.25 let's see how much we can squeeze in so ob is 25 half of bd from ob right at this end we lose 1.25 into 2 by 3 at this end we lose 1.25 so out of 25 we lose a 1.25 and we lose a 1.25 into 2 by 3 fine so we will still get more than 22.5 1.25 plus 1.25 is 2.5 25 minus 2.5 is 22.5 we we'll still get more than 22.5 or here we can squeeze nine circles here we can squeeze nine circles nine plus nine 18 18 plus 19 37 is possible 40 is not possible 39 is not possible 36 we don't have to worry about can we squeeze in 19 plus 19 that means on bd do we have continuous length of 19 into 2.5 47.5 can we get on BD to get 19 18 is possible that we have seen is 19 possible 47.5 meters length is it possible we lose this 1.252 by 3 1.525 by 3 definitely that is gone so we have only 48.33 there's got to be something spilling over from the center circle even if you squeeze a lot here not right at the center and that spillover is going to be better than this 0.83 so we cannot squeeze 19 onto bd if ac has 19 so bd can have a maximum of 18 19 plus 18 37 so extraordinary question extraordinary tough question so extraordinarily tough compared to the freebies that do exist this is a no-no you -no. have to worry about the two diagonals you have to worry about squeezing in circles into the one diagonal remember that in the end we cannot go right up to the tip evaluate that we can squeeze only 19 to a diagonal but if you squeeze 19 to the first diagonal we might not have room for 19 in the second one and worry about can we squeeze 18 prove that we can squeeze 18 in the second one for sure then fret about maybe we can squeeze the 19th one also and then remove that possibility so this is a a joyful wonderful question to have fun with in and of itself and to be stayed away like the bubonic plague during the xit exam during the exam i don't want to establish how much i can think about small circles inside a rectangle i want to stay away but afterwards a lovely question